Hey guys, welcome to our weekly Indian Web3 news show here at Backstage with Millionaires. I'm Caleb, your host, and we're just gonna jump right in this week because Old Bology is launching their own metaverse based on their reality show, Lockup. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I still can't really figure out what part of this is metaverse. To me, it looks like just a game, but they're calling it a metaverse, so we're gonna call it a metaverse too. So Lockup is similar to Big Boss or Big Brother, but instead of keeping contestants in a house, they're keeping them in jail for 72 days. Now, according to Albology's COO, this is an initial stage. We are still experimenting with the possibilities in the space. With the development of Web 3.0, I think there will be a lot more to see in the coming future, which is a pretty vague. Uh, I, you know, there's not a lot to unpack there, but he did also mention that at some point in the near future, they wanted to integrate blockchain into the game and also NFTs, which I guess is where you can put that Web3 tag on it. But this kind of feels to me like a situation where a company is just trying to capitalize on the buzz surrounding Web3 and this term metaverse without actually building a proper metaverse. I mean, what even is a metaverse, right? Is it, you know, an MMO? Is it just a place for people to congregate online in a 3D virtual space. Do you need to have VR goggles or not? I really don't think that the game would see widespread adoption if that was the case, if VR headsets were required. So probably they didn't go that route, but then what part of this really is a metaverse and where do you draw the line between an online game, an online multiplayer game, like uh, an example would be PUBG, for example, and an actual metaverse. I don't personally know the answers to all of these questions. Maybe you guys could chime in in the comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Is alt Bology's lockup metaverse a real metaverse or is it just an online game? All right, next up in the Indian Web 3 news, the trailer of an upcoming movie, Radhe Shyam, and sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, was released in a metaverse hosted by Spatial.io. And the number of people that visited this metaverse ended up crashing Spatial.io's servers. So this happened within three minutes of the trailer's release. More than two lakh fans rushed into this metaverse to watch the trailer, and some of them weren't able to because of the crash. Now, this metaverse is just starting with a trailer, but it's going to expand, apparently, to allow people to have their own avatars and actually explore the world of Radhe Shyam. All right, next up in the Indian Web3 news, FTX Gaming, which is a subsidiary of Bahamas-based crypto exchange FTX, has partnered with IndieGG, which is a sub-DAO of Yield Guild Games. So IndieGG has already partnered with Polygon to build a play-to-earn gaming hub in India. And now with this partnership that they have with FTX Gaming, they wanna drive the adoption of Web3 Gaming across the country. Through this partnership, gaming studios under FTX Gaming will be able to access IndieGG's distribution network to launch their games in India. At the same time, FTX is gonna be able to help indie game developers on IndieGG's platform to integrate Web3 into their products. And as people are beginning to realize, India is a massive opportunity for gaming companies. India's gaming market has already doubled from $800 million in 2019 to $1.8 billion in 2021, and now they're expecting it to grow to $7 billion by 2025. All right, next up in the Indian Web3 news, Polygon Studios, the gaming and NFT arm of Layer 2 blockchain network Polygon, has made a strategic investment into ZMT, that's Zipmex's native token. So Zipmex is a digital assets exchange, and last month they launched their own NFT exchange marketplace, Zixel. They celebrated this launch by hosting Thailand's first metaverse concert on Decentraland. So this partnership with Polygon Studios is gonna help Zipmex to build its own new metaverse experiences targeting the Asia Pacific market through 2022. All right, moving on to some Web3 funding news now. BitsCrunch, a blockchain analytics and security startup, has raised $3.6 million in a funding round led by Animoca Brands. So NFTs are still a pretty new concept for a lot of people at this point. And unfortunately, a lot of newcomers get caught up in scams and pitfalls because the NFT ecosystem right now is rife with problems. For example, wash trading. This is one practice where people will buy and sell NFTs from accounts that they control to artificially drive up the price of those NFTs. Another type of scam is digital art forgeries, where people will steal other people's NFTs and make profits from them. And so BitsCrunch is trying to tackle some of these issues. They're offering an AI-based analytics tool to help you identify the authenticity of an NFT, its fair market price, and it also detects wash trading activities as well. BitsCrunch is gonna be using these funds to expand their team in India, and they're also gonna be focusing on securing blockchains like Solana, Polkadot, and Algorand. 
All right, next up in the Web3 funding news, Metaverse startup Icons has raised an undisclosed amount in a funding round led by Village Global and Woodstock. So Village Global is backed by some pretty big names. I'm talking Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Eric Schmidt, and a bunch of other tech icons. And so talking about this seed round, Icon CEO Abhinav Varma Kaledindi said that it's heartening to see that a fund backed by the world's top tech icons who have a cumulative net worth of over $400 billion and whose company's market caps exceed $5.5 trillion, Meta, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, has decided to fund us at an early stage. So Icon's primary goal is to build Build its own Indian metaverse to bring stories, characters, and IPs from Indian mythology to the world. So in order to do this, they're going to be helping IP owners, artists, and other established icons to manage their digital assets. Basically, the idea here is to build a wealth building platform for IP owners to help them navigate the complexities of the NFT space. Now, speaking of icons, we're going to move on to our NFT spotlight of the week because on the icons platform in the next two months or so, they're going to be dropping their first ever NFT, Supandi from Tink. They're also probably going to be dropping NFTs of Shambhu, another Tinkle character, at some point in the future, although they haven't yet set a timeline for that yet. And they've also onboarded Amar Chitrakata to bring their comic characters to life in the form of NFTs as well. So I don't know how this is going to materialize later on down the road, whether these NFTs are just going to be virtual assets that people are buying and selling without really giving much thought. Like CryptoPunks, for example, they're just JPEGs. They're nothing special. Or if these are actually going to become avatars in a metaverse created by Icon that you can play as. I think that would be really cool because I know a lot of Indian people actually grew up with these characters and they're really beloved comic characters. So as a non-Indian myself, I'm curious to know, is that something that you think people would be interested in? Someone like yourself, for example, buying an NFT of Supandi or Shambhu or some of these other Indian comic book characters? Or do you think that they should just stay in the comic books and not be bought and sold by NFT traders. Let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below, but that is everything from my side, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new about India's Web3 space. Big thanks now to all of our Backstage with Millionaires members, our unicorns, our decacorns, and our hectacorns, and big thanks to you for watching this video through to the end. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Backstage with Millionaires, and I will see you in the next one.